हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम संपदा कुलकर्णी वेलकम्स यू इन माय चैनल टेक टॉक्स इन दिस वीडियो सीरीज आई एम गोइंग टू डिलीवर यू द डिटेल्स अबाउट डब्ली लिंक लिस्ट अ टाइप ऑफ लिंक लिस्ट एंड हियर आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ दिस वीडियो सीरीज लाइक इंट्रोडक्शन टू डब्ली लिंक लिस्ट what is doubly linked list that i am going to explain you in this video session before moving to the content i would like to request you to subscribe my channel tech talks and keep the bell ringing now let's see first of all what are the disadvantages of sll they are nothing but singly linked list so the first disadvantage is sll grows only in forward direction we have seen we have gone through the concept of sll in previous video series where i have explained you the link list and its first type is sll and all the operations with the details about sll and from that you must have to come to know that the sll that is singly linked list having a single link and which grows into in forward direction only the second disadvantage is as it grows into in a forward direction only they can traverse easily in forward direction but if i want to traverse the link list in backward direction then it is little bit difficult to traverse it in backward direction as no any reverse link is available with the sll and by taking consideration of all these disadvantages of sll the doubly linked list is came into the picture doubly linked list is nothing but a linked list which comes under link organized linear data structure why they are linear because they grows linearly and why they are under linked organized data structure because the memory is not allotted continuously and the memory is allotted in the link list is nothing but the scattered memory and they are linked with each other and that's why they are called as linked list so let's see what is doubly linked list as the name suggest each node in the list stores three fields the first one is content second one is a pointer or a reference to the next node as of the sll because we have seen that this much information is just same as of the sll but what is difference between sll and dll is the main difference is that here additional reference is available to the previous node as well that's why to references to pointers are available first one is to the next node and the another one is to the previous node as well so double pointers are available that's why the name is given doubly linked list so it stores a pointer or a reference to the next node as well as the previous node and here you can see how the doubly linked list looks like so here you can see that these are nothing but the forward link and these are nothing but the backward link so 10 will store the address of 20 20 will store the address of 30 but 20 will store the address of 10 as well so here you can see that for 20 the address of the next node is also available address of the previous node is also available so as far as doubly linked list is concerned let's see the node structure of the doubly linked list how the node can be designed so here in this node structure you can see that they are partition into 3 so the first one is nothing but the data part that is the information part that can be store the information into the node the second part is nothing but link to the next node or the reference or a pointer to the next node and the third part is nothing but link to the previous node so that's why this is nothing but a node structure of dll where it will hold the address of the next node as well as the address of the previous node in short we'll see how to form the dll so first of all we supposed to create a first node initially both the next field as well as the previous field 
both are null because a single node is there while creation of the node this address location the node will get created if you want to add some one more node in my doubly linked list what i have to do i have to create one more node here you can see that the address locations are scattered address location they are not in a continuous form so that's why we supposed to form a link between these two nodes which will form a chain of the node now let's see how to form a link as of singly linked list same thing we will form a forward link that is the address of the next node we will store into the next field and fortunately it forms the link from current node to the next node and in the same way this previous field of the next node will get replaced with the address of a previous node here you can see that the 65530 is the address of previous node and it means that it is forming a link between these two nodes so a logical link helps us to attach the two nodes in the link list and it is forming a chain of the nodes if i want to add one more element the same i think i will do 65630 is the address of my current node and this null part will get updated with the address of the next node and in the same way it forms a link and here for the newly created node the previous will will get updated with the address of the previous node and it forms a link between these two nodes so in this way i can traverse this doubly linked list in forward direction as well as in reverse direction because now i am having a reverse address or the address of a previous node as well so it overcomes the disadvantage of singly link list and as it traverses in both the direction it grows into both the direction so that's why this is called as doubly link list the doubly link list name is given according to its behavior doubly link list is having three fields mainly every node is having three field the first one is content it is also called as data or information part rest of two are pointer or a reference to both the direction the first one is to the next node just same as of the singly linked list and another reference or another pointer is nothing but to the previous node this is the additional reference part additional part to available with the doubly linked list and that's why the name is given doubly because both the direction they this link list or the node of this link list are having the pointer that's why the name is given doubly link list so in short doubly link list and its nodes stores a pointer or a reference to the next node as well as to the previous node just same as of this diagram which i have shown right now now let's move to the operations on a doubly link list which operations we can perform on a doubly linked list so mainly we can perform these five different operations the first one is to create doubly linked list second one is to insert a node in a doubly linked list so we can insert a node it at three different positions as i explain um, so we can insert a node at three different positions as mentioned here like the first one is at beginning second one is in between third one is at the end of the list the third operation that we can perform is nothing but the delete operation again at all the three positions fourth one is to traverse a doubly linked list but we can traverse the doubly linked list in both the direction that is in forward direction as well as in reverse direction and we can perform the search operation on a node as well first of all we'll see to create a doubly linked list in this video session rest of the operation we will see one by one in a separate video so to gain the knowledge about rest of the operation on a doubly linked list please stay tuned with my channel tech talks first of all let's see the node structure of dll then we will move to the create function create operation on a doubly linked list so as i explained previously it is divided into three parts the first one is nothing but data or information part 
second one is nothing but a link to the next node it is also called as next field and the third one is nothing but link or a reference or a pointer to the previous node it is also called as previous field let's see how to create a doubly linked list so first of all we have to create a head node because a head node will hold the address of the first node of your doubly linked list so we supposed to create a node by default the address will get allotted to this node here you can see that the three partitions three parts of the node they are nothing but the, this is nothing but the information data part or a content part of the node this is nothing but the next field which is null currently and this is nothing but a previous field which is also null currently whenever you are going to create a new node always you have to assign its information part and its next and previous field must be null currently this link list this doubly linked list is having a single node so that's why there is no any next node is available as well as no any previous node is available to indicate the same thing they are having the null field as a previous as well as in a next address location if you want to add one more node in that case the node is created as well as the address is assigned to that node and now i want to form a link between these two nodes so to form a link between these two node what the protocol we have to follow this is nothing but the head node head node's next part will hold the address of the next node so that's why the next address of the next node is 65630 and it will form a logical link between these two nodes in the same way the newly created node its previous part will hold the address of the previous node is nothing but 65530 so after assigning that address to the previous field it is forming a logical link between the current node and the head node or a new node and a head node so in this way here you can see that both the direction we are providing a link that is in forward direction as well as in a reverse direction this field is null because this is the first node this field is also null because this is the last node there is no any further node available to indicate that this is a null and there is no any previous node is available to indicate this is the first node or a head node the previous field is also null now let's add one more node with the different address location and let's update the links again so this is the next field of the node whose uh data part is 20 and will get updated with the address of the next node and to form a logical link between them the same way for this node this null is get updated with the address of the previous node and which forms a link in a reverse direction so in this way we can create a doubly linked list i am explaining you the concept of doubly linked list and in this video session we will see how to traverse a doubly linked list so doubly linked list can be traversed in forward direction as well as in reverse direction both the things we will cover in this video session now let's see among these different operations we are going to focus on the traversal of a doubly linked list in forward as well as in reverse direction so first of all let's see how to traverse it in forward direction to traverse the link list in forward direction you must have to create the link list first and insert few nodes in that how to create a link list how to insert a node for that i have already covered the concept in previous video session you can go through that if you don't know the concept with respect to creation of doubly link list and the insertion of node in doubly link list now let's see this is the doubly linked list which is available with us and if i want to traverse that into the forward direction what the steps i supposed to follow usually we used to start with the head node so this one is my head node and i am going to mark it as a head node then make this head node as a current node and after that we have to check whether my current node is not equal to null if the condition is true then what we have to do we have to insert into the loop and 
we have to display the data because traversal is nothing but the display of the data so we will display its data part information part and then what the next step we have to do we we should have to move to the next node of the doubly linked list by executing this particular statement here we are updating a current node with the current nodes next next field of current node the next field of current node is 65630 and now we are going to make this as a current node so let's see this is my current node now after this we supposed to again check that whether my current node is not equal to null the condition is true after that display the data and move to the next node let's move to the next node we are at the position at the node and then let's again repeatedly check the condition whether current node is not equal to null condition is true here you can see that condition is true and now next display the data and move to the next now what is what your next will holding the current node ka next is nothing but null so your current node is null this variable is null now now let's check this condition whether this condition is true or false this condition is false now and if if this condition is false we will not insert into the loop and we will stop at this position so what we have done we have started from head node we have displayed 10 then we have moved to the next node in forward direction we have displayed 20 then again moving to the next node we have displayed 30 and now we are at the end of the list and at that position we supposed to stop because this is the end of the list and in this way we have done with the traversal and the last step is to exit from the for loop or to exit from the forward direction traversal function so in this way we have done with the dll traversal in forward direction now let's move for forward for the next point that is in reverse direction how to traverse the doubly linked list in reverse direction again the same thing we supposed to follow here two possibilities can be there if we have marked this node as the last node or the tell node end node of your doubly linked list then directly you can start from this but if we have not marked it if we have used only the single head pointer in this case my first step is to start from a head node and traverse dll till the last node here we are not going to display anything because in the step 1 what we supposed to do we supposed to move to the last node because here we want to traverse it into, into the backward direction so that's why we should have to reach to this particular node first of all that is end of the list and then we supposed to move into the backward direction so let's consider that we have executed the step number 1 and we are at the end of the list those so this is my current node i am going to make this as current node and then the same thing we supposed to follow we supposed to check repeatedly whether my current node is not equal to null just we have done in a previous slide and we have to display the data and we have to move in a previous direction and with the that let's consider now i am at this position i supposed to display the uh, information part and again i supposed to move in a previous direction once again now i am at the head and uh, my data whatever data is there i'll display that again i'll move to the previous wala um, node but previous node is null because here end of the list in a backward direction so what we'll do we'll exit from the function and in this way we have done the traversal of the doubly linked list in backward direction till now what we have seen how to create a doubly linked list that we have seen how to traverse a doubly linked list that in both the direction that is forward as well as reverse direction that also we have seen now in this video session i am explaining you the insertion operation on doubly linked list so we can insert the element we can insert a node at three different positions that can be at the beginning of the list that means a first node of a linked list that we can insert or any in between node also at any in between position also we can insert a node and at the end also that is at the end of the list also we can insert a node 
so all the three positions how to insert a node that i am going to explain you in this video session so now let's start with the insertion of node in doubly linked list so first of all let's start with at the beginning means if i want to insert a node at the beginning what the steps i supposed to follow so let's consider this is a doubly linked list we are uh, we are having with us with three nodes and if i want to insert a node at the beginning then we have to start with the head node currently this is my head node and whenever i want to add a new node i suppose to create that node at and th this will get allocated some memory initially whenever we are going to create a new node we supposed to initialize both the next field and the previous field to null and i have ac accepted its information part as 100 now as i want to insert this node at the beginning what i have to do i have to update this next field to the head node that is the address which is present in a head node so let's update this next field and what it will do it will form a logical link between these two nodes so yes we have done with the forward link but this is the doubly linked list we supposed to think about a backward link as well so where we have to update a backward link yes you are correct we supposed to update a backward link for the head node because before this node we have created this node or as i want to insert a node at the beginning now this node is going to be inserted before the head node so let's see over here look at here and i am updating the address location which address location is this the address of the newly created node which we supposed to insert at the beginning so that's why this address location is pasted or assigned at the previous field of the current head node and it is forming a link between a head node and a newly created node so in this way we have updated both forward as well as a reverse or a back previous link now let's remove this as a head node and make a new node as a head node and here you can see that this is the uh, node which is attached as a first node of a doubly linked list so these steps you supposed to follow to insert a node at the beginning now let's move forward for the next if i want to insert any node at in between then what the steps i supposed to follow first of all you supposed to find out a proper position at which you can insert a node that can be inserted in between so you can insert after 100 also means after this node you can insert after 10 you can insert after 20 you can't insert after 30 because if you want to insert a node after 30 that will belong to the category that is insertion of node at the end of the list but if you want to insert the node in between for that the valid locations are the node can be inserted after 10 after sorry after 100 after 10 after 20 now let's consider i want to insert a node after 20 then what the steps i supposed to follow so first of all we supposed to traverse the doubly linked list till the desired node that is node 20 because after 20 i want to insert i uh I, i am decided to insert a node after 20 so let's start with the head node and let traverse it to the node after which you want to insert a node a new node so i am going to stop at this position after this what i have to do i have to create a new node so let's create a new node at some different location we'll get assign to that node here you can again observe the thing that its previous and its next field are assigned to null for every new node you supposed to assign it to null now let's think about the uh, making a link to form a link to insert this node at the desired location so for that what the steps i have to follow now for the same what you have to do you have to do one thing like you have to update the next field of the node a newly created node from where you will get that information 
you will get that information from this current node now let's consider this as a current node its next field is holding the address of its next node but if you want to insert this node somehow in between so the next field of this newly created node is you have to paste it from this current node so 65730 this address you just uh, keep your mind over here and that i am pasting over here and it forms a logical link between these two nodes now after that what the next step i have to follow the next step is to form a reverse link right so previously you can see over here previously the address of the previous field of this node is 65630 is nothing but this one but after inserting this node this node is going to take a position of previous node to this node so let's update this field and after updating it will assign this address location and if now we are updating this field so what was this link was previously attached that will get detached now and if if we are going to do that how could we come to know how to go into the reverse position we are having a question in our mind how to go into the reverse position so instead of following these steps the correct steps are keep the previous view as it is that is the 65730 node is holding the address of this node and now we will work on a newly created node first of all let's update the previous field of the newly created node with the 65630 let's update it let's form a link and as we have attached this node in the previous direction as well as in forward direction then we can make the changes or we are we can remove these links by updating this field and after that here you can see that here updating this field means we have detach this link and we have attached this link in the same way we are again forming a forward link between this node and this node by updating the address location at this position and this link is detached and new link will get attached so in this way we have done the insertion of node in between successfully now let's move forward for the insertion of node at the end if i want to insert a node at the end this algorithm is very easy very simple let's consider this scenario that we are having these five nodes with us and we supposed to add the node at the end of the list so let's start with the head and traverse till the end of the list in this way we can traverse it up to the end of the list after that we have to create a new node and attach it to the previous node so let's create a new node i have created a new node at the address location 65930 what we have to do now currently we are at this position we supposed to update only the next field of this current node so and after that and in the simultaneously we supposed to update the previous field of this newly created node as well to make a forward link as well as a backward link so let's first of all establish the backward link and now establish the forward link here you can follow either of the step like if firstly if we are going to update a forward link and then a backward link there will not be any issue you can opt any of the step first and then you can go forward so in this way we have inserted the node at the end of the list very easily let's start with the operation delete on a doubly link list as we have seen in the insertion operation we can insert at these three different position in the same way we can delete a node from these three different position one by one we will see what the steps we supposed to follow to delete a node from a doubly link list so let's begin with from beginning that is if i want to delete a first node what the steps i have to follow let's consider this is doubly linked list which is available with me and i want to delete a first node to delete a first node obviously we supposed to start from a head node and we have to move to the next node and we have to stop so let's move to the next node and we have to stop now after deletion of this node we are going to make this node as a head node that's why we have to 
traverse till only the second node of the doubly linked list now what we have to do we have to update the links in this doubly linked list to delete a first node so for that we have to assign a null pointer to the previous of this current node wherever we are at this current node we supposed to update this previous field now let's look at this position this is a current node and we have updated it to null after updating it to the null here you just observe the thing that we have detached this link and after detaching this link we can now delete this node and after that we are going to make this current node as a head node now this node is going to become a head node and your link list will look like this after deletion of the first node or after deleting the node deleting the node which is present at the beginning position now let's move forward for the next uh, operation that is deletion of the node from link list from the position in between if i want to delete any in between item any in between uh, node then what the steps we supposed to follow so any in between means what here you can see that this is the beginning of the list this is end of the list so these three nodes are only here which are present at in between position and that we can delete because for the deletion logic for at the beginning is different and at the end is different and if you want to delete any in between node for that again the logic is different so that's why the applicable nodes which i can delete in between they are node 20 node 40 and node 30 only now let's see if i want to delete this node how we can perform the delete operation so we supposed to start from a head node and we have we have to move to the node whose next node which we want to delete so we are going to start from a head node and we will stop at this position because its next node is this one which we want to delete so let's start with the head node and we are at this node whose next field is the address location which we want to delete this node so now after that what the next step we supposed to follow make this as a current node and assign the next next field of a current node to the next field this is your current node its next field is 65830 and its next field is 65730 okay this current node here you can see that two times we supposed to take care of the next field so this is your current node this is the next field and its next is nothing but this address locations next field is 65730 is the address of the next node of the node which we want to delete why we will require this node now because we want to form a link between these two nodes as we supposed to delete this node so that's why let's copy this address to the next field of a current node you just observe over here i am going to make the changes and after pasting this address we have detached the forward link to the node which we want to delete and with this address location we are going to attaching a link to the node uh, after the node which we want to delete now what the next step we have to follow we have to follow the next step is like assign the current node to the current nodes next and its previous field okay this is your current node 65630 is your current node what we where we have to assign it current nodes next and its previous which one is the next field 65730 is this node right this is the node 65730 and its previous field we have to update so the desired location is this one where we have to update the address of the current node that is 65630 so let's look at this position and we have updated this address location and it means that we are detaching this link and we are creating this backward link so the desired links we have created now and now if we are going to delete this node there will not be any harm 
so that's why our next step is to delete a next node of current node let's delete it and here we have done our task to delete a node in between so in this way we have deleted a node which was present in between and we have done with our desired task let's move forward if we want to delete a node at the end of the list then what we have to do so let's start with the algorithm which we will require for the deletion of node from the end of the list so first of all we supposed to start from head and we have to traverse the link list till the current nodes next and its next field is null now let's see let's start with the head node and where we will stop we'll stop at this position current nodes next field first first next will be holding this address this address is nothing but the next node and this nodes next field is null we have to stop at this position so we have to stop at the previous node ultimately we have to stop at the previous node now what we'll do we'll we'll delete the current nodes next so whatever the next address is present that is 65930 this node we are going to delete so after deletion it will look like this the only remaining thing is we have to update this field to null because this is going to become a last node of your link list and the end of the list we are going to determine with the help of null so that's why we are going to assign the next field of a current node to null so in this way we can delete the node from the end deletion of the node at the beginning and at the end is very simple in comparison with the deletion of node in between so in this way we have done with the deletion of the node from all the three positions so these many operations we have perform on a dll how to create dll how to insert a node how to delete a node how to traverse a double link list all these things we have covered in this previous video sessions for your reference i am providing you a shortcut link for a playlist of the double link list in this right up corner so that you can access any of the video for your study now let's focus on a search node operation in this video session for this let's consider i am having a double link list with me which is having these six nodes and i want to perform a search operation on this double link list for that we supposed to accept a key from a user which i want to search so let's consider my key is 30 which i want to search now after accepting a key we have to start from head and traverse till the key is equal to the data part of current node every time we will move in forward direction to search a key value into the double link list so ultimately we will use the logic of traversal of a double link list in this search node and while traversing we will compare the key value with the data part of the every current node if the value of the node that is data part of a node is equal to the key value then you can say that the search is successful otherwise the search is unsuccessful so let's start with the head node let's check whether its information part is 100 is equal to key value or not it is not so let's move to the next let's compare 10 with 30 are they equal no let's move forward 20 and 30 are they equal no let's move forward 40 is also not equal to key value and now at this position you can see that the key value is equal to to, to the information part of this node so that's why we'll say that my search is successful and here we have done with the successful search now let's consider the another scenario where again we have to accept a key value from a user let's consider this key value is 30 let's follow the same step starting from a head node we have to traverse a double link list in a such a way that your data part of a current node is equal to the key value are they equal or not this comparison we have to do 
Comparison will give you two results, either they are equal or unequal. If they are equal, key is successful or if it is not equal and you are at the end of the list, it means that search is unsuccessful. So let's see this scenario. Let's start with the head node. Let's compare 100 with the key value 300. They are not equal. Let's move forward. In this also they are not equal. 10 is not equal to key value. That's, that's why I move forward. 20 is also not equal to key value 300. Let's move forward. 40 is also not equal to your key value. Let's move forward. 30 is also not equal to key value 300. Let's move forward. 50 is also not equal to a key value. And now we are at the end of the list because the next field of the current node is null. So if we are at the end of the list, we are supposed to stop at this position to indicate that the search is unsuccessful. And this the scenario will explain you how to how to express the search is unsuccessful so thank you friends for listening and watching this video if you like the content and the video please do not forget to give the comment and do not forget to share it with your friends here i am providing you a shortcut link for my channel's uh, subscription for my channel tech talks along with this i am providing you a shortcut link for our next video of this video series and a whole video series i am providing you in the form of playlist so thank you friends happy data structuring happy learning thank you